going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to create stutter effects. They're really simple to do. So if you're a beginner, it's actually going to be the perfect tutorial for you. I'll be showing you guys two different ways that you can use the effect and you can pretty much create this effect in any editing software. And before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that my name is Danny and I run a motion visual shop where I sell editing packs and presets for video editors. So if you guys would like to save time and you're interested in that, I have the link down in the description. With all that being said, let's get right into the video. I have these two clips and when it comes to these stutter effects, you want to choose a clip that like where there's some type of motion going on in the clip. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to have a static shot of your subject. You want to make sure that like they're moving. So in our case, we're going to have the first clip playing like a normal clip. And then we're going to be using the second clip in order to create that stutter effect. So the reason why I chose this is because our artist right here, he's like moving his hands and I want to create that stutter effect where he's like constantly, you know, lifting his hands and then putting it down and then lifting it. So what we're going to do is just go forward two frames, click control shift D in order to cut that layer. So we're going to be using this first two frames as the stutter effect. And in order to do that, we're going to duplicate this layer a few times. So I'll be duplicating it and then just bring it forward two frames, duplicate it like a few more times and just continue bringing it forward. I think I'm just gonna duplicate it, like have eight layers in total, just so that it really shows that stutter effect. All right, so after duplicating the layers, as you guys can see, we have this really simple effect. And then what we're going to do is create that transition where the layer stutters and then it goes back to the original clip. So after doing that, duplicate this layer one more time. And this part is really important. So you wanna extend that layer all the way to the end of the timeline and then make sure you cut that layer. And now when I play this, we have the stutter effect and then it just kind of like transitions into the clip where it just plays normally. So there's a few other tricks that you can use in order to make this f effect kind of like stand out, I guess, because, you know, like we don't want to always see the same stutter effect. So what I do is just grab all these clips and increase the scale, open up the scale. I'll just increase this by maybe like 30%. Yeah, just 130%. And then as it plays, it kind of like zooms out. You guys can see that we have that stutter effect and we have that zoom out cut. So it looks as if there's like a harsh cut, but you know, obviously it's the same clip. And then one more thing that we can do in order to make it look even better is create a new solid layer. Make sure that the color is white and then cut this layer so that it's only one frame. So we're going to be using this as a flash effect. We have one at the start of the stutter effect and then just duplicate that layer, bring that above all the other ones and make sure to have that right above the normal clip. So when I play this, there's that like flash effect. Or if you guys just want to keep it simple, then change all the scale back to 100%. So open up the scale, change it back to 100%, and then maybe turn off the flash. You guys don't really like the way that looks. And you still get that stutter effect. But you know, it's always good to like try to get creative with it, especially when it comes to these type of effects. But I still think that looks pretty clean. All right, so now moving on to the second stutter effect. So this one is going to be a little different. We're going to be creating the stutter effects all within one clip. So it's important to have a clip where it's like long enough in order to show that. In my case, I have two seconds. And what we're going to do is create that stutter effect. No, we're gonna have the clip playing normally and then stutter and then normally and then stutter and then so on. So in our case, let's go forward eight frames, click control shift D in order to cut that layer. And I want the first part of this clip to play like a normal clip. And then we're gonna have the next part stutter. So let's go forward two frames and then just cut that layer, completely delete the rest of that layer. So after doing that, duplicate that layer a few more times, maybe have five layers in total and then make sure to bring that forward. After creating those layers, we want to duplicate that layer one more time and then just extend this layer. Let's extend it like 10 frames. And this part is important. Like I mentioned before, you want to make sure to extend that and then cut the first two layers so that, you know, it doesn't like repeat. And then we have that like smooth transition where it goes from the stutter and then clip plays normally. And then I'll just extend it another two frames, cut that layer. This time, let's just duplicate this layer like four times just so that it's not exactly the same as the first stutter effect. Bring those layers forward, duplicate that layer one more time, extend the layer, and then get rid of the first two frames. Actually, I'll just cut it down to three layers in total. I'll just delete this one and then bring that back. But I think that looks really clean. 
It's a really simple effect, but I've seen it in like many music videos. And it's also just one of those effects where you can just, you know, keep it simple and not go too crazy with the VFX. But that is all I have for this video. I know it was a really short and simple tutorial. Trust me guys, I have a lot more videos in plan. But also, if you guys have any video suggestions, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to look into it. But yeah, man, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.